Hey, this is Roy Mitchell, uh, Floyd County Science Guy. Um, in your class, science classes this year, uh, grades three through eight, and then the biology, physical science, and chemistry, you have the common assessments. So the common assessments, as you probably know, were a little bit different than they were last year. So I wanted to make this video to uh, remind you of what to do whenever it's time to give the assessment. And you know, I, I think it'll be pretty easy once you kind of see what it is and once we uh, see that all the technology is going in our right direction. And hopefully that will be the case right off the bat. So first page here is a page of reminders. You know, it's all about security and validity this year. Last year we just we were making these up throughout the year and we were fortunate to really get them um, get them going and but now we want to have it where it's much more secure much more valid and if you're going to be judged by these you will want it to be treated the same way throughout the county and that's kind of what some of these measures are measures are for if you want your student if your students are being judged by these you want the measures to be the same across the county so we're hoping to do that this year and on this page is some uh, some of those things that you've already been given reminders for but it's a good time to point them out you no longer have year long access uh, on there is a page which hey i can show you that page it is right here. Here is a sixth grade, for example. Right now, sixth grade teachers only have access to this one assessment right here. They do not have access to the other assessments, but whenever the deadline has passed for this one, September 14th, I will take this one off. And a little bit, a week or two before November 6th, I will put this one on. And don't worry, students do not have access to this until you give it to them within this window time frame, ugh, within this time frame that you do give the assessment. You don't give it to them before the assessment, of course, but then during the assessment, that's what you'll give to them. So I will go back here and hit present. So whenever you get these, they're going to be student view. They're not going to be teacher view where you can share them. They're not going to be teacher view where you can save them. They're student view, which means you can't give them another copy because this copy that they're getting is the copy that sends all the data to the county office. If you happen to be one of the people that helped make these and still have a copy floating around on your hard drive somewhere, don't give that one because that one will end up feeding back to your hard drive and you're the only one that gets the uh, gets the results for that. We're going to have it this year where we are, the county office is kind of the uh, administrator, you might say, and the student students get the test and it come, the data comes back to us. And then from there, we distribute it out to uh, all these different spreadsheets that you'll be able to see in this video. So that all does mean that there's no more te teacher tabulations at your school. You don't have to get the average and combine the average and put on the website. It's all it's all sent here and the, the computer will distribute it all out. Uh, so hopefully in the end it's just a matter of you get the student view, give the students the student view, they take it and then it's all given, it, it, it's easy to get to. Uh, you cannot give this as a pretest. You cannot give them as warm ups. We want all teachers throughout the county to treat them the same way. When it's test day, that's the first time they've seen these questions. When it's uh, whenever up until that point, you're teaching the standards as you always are. And whenever it's test time, this should be a reflection of what their understanding of the standards are. Uh, no, this is not one where you can give it one day, oh, little poor fella, you didn't do so well, let's give the same test the next day. No, it's not take the best of the two, it's whatever it is that day. Now, of course, as a good teacher, you'll get feedback as to whether this person didn't do very well, and then you go from there. It just does not need to be retaking this test. It'll mess up all the data, and we don't want to mess up the data, but you can then go from there with that student to see a how that student needs to progress from there. Just don't use this assessment in doing that. Uh, also, do not take the test with the student. Uh, that's going to mess up the data. It'd probably be a very good, <laughs> probably be very good, but still, you don't want to mess up the data. So they take the test. Uh, on the spreadsheet, you'll be able to see what the 
what the questions were and you'll be able to see what the uh, standards were that it came from. So I don't think there's really any need for you to take that and plus it'll mess up the data. And please, please, please use this data in the PLCs. Uh, this is not just a hoop to jump through. This is something where you see where you and all the other students in the county stand, and that in itself is worth some introspection and some reflection in your PLCs. Don't just give this and forget about it. Give this and see what you did and be able to try to try to have some reflection upon this. So I will go to another slide. Oh, I'm using the wrong mouse pad. Oh, here we are. Finding the assessment. Now, I have this slide show right here where I'm going to go through this with you, but you can see you're going to the science section and hit in assessments, uh, go to grade band. You're going to need to copy these and put them on Google Classroom. Don't send them back to this assessment page. Uh, then after that, I'll show you the score sheets for results and data sheets. So uh, let's find where you can go where you can find this. So I will go to this page. Uh, this is the page you can find by hitting your home button. And at the Floyd County homepage, you can get to all the stuff you need to get to. So go to departments, academics, and down to science. At science, you go to assessments, and that's where you can see the assessments that are loaded. Now I can see all three and you can see all three of these but it's not something that students can see. So I'll click this and you can see that this is the exact same page I showed you before. You take this assessment and that assessment is what you copy and put on Google Classroom. Uh, don't give them access to this page. They wouldn't have access anyway. Only, only teachers have access to this page, teachers, administrators, and so on. So you make a copy of this, put on Google Classroom. Um, grade man and local assessments. Okay, so once you copy and put on Google Classroom, they take the exam, and then you can go to the score sheets. Score sheets are up in the corner here. You see assessments and scores and go down to score sheets. <laughs> so once you go down to score sheets, this is what I can see here. We have the elementary school data, the middle school data, and the high school data. Now you will only be able to see what's from your school. For example, if you're Alto Park Elementary, you can only see these three right here. So from there, you will end up clicking on it. And once you click on it, you'll be able to see what the scores are. Hopefully that makes sense right there. Uh, then after that, you will get to go to the data sheets. Data sheets are also in this same area here. Uh, dashboards, I guess is what I should have labeled that. And we currently don't have anything for dashboards, but this is where you should be able to see how your school compared with other schools. Hey, uh, feel free to email me, uh, rmitchell at floydboe. Dot net, and I'd love to answer your questions if this is something that I uh, still want some reassurance with. Uh, thank you very much, and I uh, hope your students do well.